Anti Comic Guy here with another Comics Gate campaign review made possible by CG Tracker. CG Tracker is the best website that you will find on the internet for Comics Gate, showing you campaigns past and present, letting you know how they're funding, how many backers they have, and what campaigns you might be missing out on. Be sure to check out CG Tracker at creatorgo.com forward slash CG to check out those campaigns today. And today we're going to be talking about the Comics Gate campaign for Albatross Junction Volume 1, a graphic novel, a futuristic tale of survival on a frozen world without a sun. Frozen world without a sun? Yeah, that'd be pretty darn chilly. That would be almost as bad as Wisconsin. So let's go ahead, take a look at their campaign, see what we got. Now, we do have a video. All right, let's go ahead and first begin by playing that video now and seeing what they have to offer us. Here we go. That's a little staticky there in the beginning, isn't it? Albatross Junction is a story I kind of started back in um, I, back in college. Actually, I had this idea for a story. It's a post-apocalyptic, another post-apocalyptic story. The sun is gone. Um, it's a world. It's, it takes place on Earth after the sun burns out, so it's a, everything's frozen, negative one hundred and fifty below. So you kind of have fun to kind of figure out how people are going to survive in this frozen, dark world. And also, um, as a form of government, there's uh, nanotech in, in every character's bloodstream. So if you commit a crime, especially murder, you just kind of implode from the inside. Okay, this is like over three minutes long for an introduction. So it's another, it's another, it's, it's another like, another place to have fun with how, how do you go to war? Like, how do you go to war? How do you get rid of your enemies? Because you can't just blatantly just go out and kill anybody right now. So there's a main... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because, uh... No, that three minutes, 59 seconds, dude, dude, that, that, Kevin, Anthony, your video needs to be between 30 and 60 seconds long and 60 seconds is too long for a video. You, you can't do this. You can't give people a three, almost four. Well, it is four minutes. It's like off by one second. You can't give people a four minute video talking about the premise of your campaign. This should have been a 30 second video. I mean, the, that part where they start talking about, oh, you know, the, the sun goes out. You got a little bit of animation there. Throw up a couple of samples of the book. Talk about the world that you're in and what it's about. You know, that's awesome, but we, we've got the one of the creators jumping in here in the middle of this thing. We've got, it, it just doesn't work. You know, it's too long. It's too long. It needs to be piffy. It needs to be a commercial. It needs to be 30 seconds. It needs to be a teaser trailer. Go out, watch some teaser trailers on YouTube. This will show you how to do it. Just like for Hollywood. You got to have a good teaser trailer. Again, you want anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Four minutes? Dude, I mean, we got here to a minute and 16, and you already lost my interest. You didn't just lose my interest, you actually started to grate on my nerves. So we need a new video for Albatross Junction. I can tell you that much right now. Let's go ahead and scroll down and let's see what we've got. Uh, here's some sample of the artwork. Okay, the artwork looks okay. It's not super great. The coloring, oh wow, the coloring looks terrible. But the, again, this is a preliminary. I mean, this I'm sure the coloring will get better when the actual book comes out. I hope the coloring is better when the actual book comes out because this coloring is, wow, this is awful coloring. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. I mean, the black and white artwork, I mean, it looks pretty good. We got some decent design work here. I, oh, very expressive eyes. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Oh, but here we get into, again, some of the coloring, and the coloring just... Ugh, the coloring is killing the black and... It's killing the line art here. Okay, you, you, you got time, though. You got time, boys. Go ahead, redo that coloring. Work harder. 
or better yet work smarter as far as the coloring is concerned because this th this is no bueno let's go down a little bit further again the artwork looks fine I mean, just some of the examples here are a little bit below industry standards. Oh, look, we got Treaser Trailer 2. Why isn't this at the top? Let's go ahead and check out this Treaser Trailer. Maybe this is better. The sun is gone. A voyage to the faraway world ends in tragedy. One last chance for survival is found on an unlikely planet. Genetic material brought back could change the future of our world. Albatross Junction. Okay, that was a little bit better than the four minute video. Uh, again, it's still too long. There was long, empty parts in there. And that was no bueno. Uh, but it, that was still a heck of a lot better than four minutes of my time being wasted with chit chat. Let's go take a look at here. Uh, what you get, a high quality, well-designed 64 page graphic novel with extras at the back of the book. Live updates and YouTube streams every step along the way on Comic Book Creation Live. Every Monday and Wednesday, a chance to be part of the creation process. 100% entertainment. And of course we have our creators here. We have K. Scott Cosme and Anthony Lagapa. And yeah, I mean, I gotta say, I mean, the premise of this book, that the sun goes out and humanity has to survive, that is a pretty cool premise. I'm interested to see what they actually do with this idea. The artwork looks a little bit rough in some spots, but again, we're still in campaign. This is hardly a finished book yet. And so there's plenty of time to go ahead and make improvements. The coloring on some of the sample artwork, I, I hope the coloring has gotten better because this coloring, looks awful uh, i'm not gonna pull any punches the coloring does look bad but with luck if these guys are taking feedback from other people in the community they'll be able to go ahead and make improvements in the coloring and it'll look better when it actually goes to print let's go ahead and take a look at the perks down the side of the screen we have albatross junction volume one a signed copy of the book and that is for 25 dollars if it's $25 and again, 64 pages, yeah, yeah, that's about right. That's worth my money. Going down a little bit further, uh, all the trading cards tiers. Now, does that all the trading cards separate or is that with the book? Uh, it's with the book. Volume one signed, you get a poster, you get the set of 10 trading cards. If you like trading cards, that is good to hear. Going down a little bit further. $75, we get volume one signed, a poster, original sketch, and trading card. Some people, some people like sketches, some people don't. I must admit, I'm on the people don't side of that particular equation. I mean, I, you know, I, you gave me a book with your artwork. Why do I need a sketch? You know, that, that's just a thought that runs through my mind. Uh, going down a little bit further, we have the collector's tiers. 99 bucks well at least it's not 100 what is it with nines these guys really seem to like to end everything with the number nine don't they uh the 99 dollars us tier we have albatross junction signed it looks like you get three copies you get two copies of the poster you get original sketch and you get a full set of the trading cards as well and look at that two of these have already been claimed booyah great going guys uh, we've got here comic book store owners tier for $199. That nine just keeps persisting throughout this campaign, doesn't it? Uh, again, I don't agree with anyone in Comicsgate making a store owners tier for any of our books. I don't. I mean, they're not going to support us. They're not going to back us. 
they're not going to give us money to go ahead and sell our books in their store. They view us as the enemy. They think that we are responsible for killing their business. Guys, we didn't kill the direct market. You killed the direct market. You killed the direct market by not standing up to Marvel and DC. You killed the direct market by employing SJWs who drove away your customers who come to your store. You killed the direct market by making excuses for Diamond. And finally, when you were on your knees, your life-giving ichor coming out of your veins, the beer bug showed up and clubbed you over the head with a spiked baseball bat. The direct market is dead. And the direct market is why comic books in America as an industry faded into obscurity despite the fact that we've had blockbuster movies for the better part of 20 years. Because how in the world is some kid who's 12 years old going to get a comic book if it's not available on the shelf, if it's not at your local convenience store, if it's not at the bookstore at the mall? They're not, and they didn't which is why the comic book industry had such a difficult time finding new readers to keep the entire industry alive. So the direct market, responsible for killing the comic book industry by being dumb, but yet they wanna blame Comicsgate for their stupidity and failures. Stop giving these guys deals. I don't think I have ever seen a single Comicsgate campaign where you offered a store owner tier actually get a backer in the store owner tier. They're not going to support us. They view us as the enemy. And even if they didn't view us as their enemy, the reality is, is the direct market is dead and it deserves to die. I got off on a little bit of a rant there, didn't I? Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, Citizen of Albatross Junction, $250 tier. What do you got here? Your likeness in Albatross Junction Volume 2. Choose your name and or likeness to appear as a character in the next issue of Albatross Junction. You might be killed in a panel, ascend a high rank in the Quantum Height military, or freeze in the snow. All for everyone to see in Volume 2. You get a signed copy of the book, a poster, you get the sketch, you also get the trading cards. Your big thing is, is that you get recognition in the book. So I guess if you want to go ahead and get 15 minutes of fame in a comic book, that's one way to go about doing it. Scrolling down, we have the page art owner tier. Uh, the, this is where people can get artwork from the book. Okay, We have an $800 cover art tier. All right. And we have a thousand dollar cover art painting on canvas tier. Okay. And we have a making of tier for 2000. What does that include? This perk includes an advanced copy of the making of Albatross Junction, exclusive look behind the scenes, including character designs, concepts, story breakdowns, early sketches, and more. Original concept sketches from Albatross Junction storylines are included with this perk by artist K. Scott Cosme and Anthony La and Anthony Lagapa. So yeah, all right. So that is the biggest one for two thousand um, dollars. Yeah, these big ones. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm just not seeing that. I mean, maybe I don't know. I certainly wouldn't spend two thousand dollars on it, but maybe somebody will. Okay, so going back up to the top, again, they only have 12 backers. They actually gave you a realistic goal as far as how much money they need. Because when you figure that, you know, when you're paying your artist $150 a page for pencils and inks, you're paying your colorist $100 a page for coloring, you're paying your letterer up to $50 a page for letters, and you're paying your writer up to $50 a page for just writing the darn thing. Yeah. Going ahead, $3,500 to at least cover the expense for the artist. That does seem perfectly reasonable to me. But I will remind you, bad coloring will destroy the best of pencils and inks. So make sure that you do some improvements on that coloring, guys. Other than that, uh, yeah, Albatross Junction, the graphic novel. Go ahead and check it out on Indiegogo today. There will be a link, of course, in the description that you can click on. But no matter what, I'd like to thank all of you for taking a moment to watch this video. 
I encourage you to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and follow me on social media. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Minds, you can find me on Gab, but you will absolutely not find me on Parler. Because when your policy on censorship goes past that of Twitter, you know you're doing something wrong. And with that said, I hope all of you have a fantastic week.